Alright, so this will be our second example for multi-level feedback queue. Okay. And then, same, we have here three levels pa din. Okay, subukan natin pagkasyahin. Ayan. Okay, so again, time zero lahat sila. Mag-start. This will be... 1, and then this will be 2. So, SJF pa din yung nakasign. Okay? So, yan. Now, in this case, ganun pa din yung gagawin natin. So, check natin earliest arrival. So, dito sa part na to, kahit dito mo na lang siya i-represent. So, yan. So, this will end at time 3 kasi yun yung earliest arrival time natin. Okay? So, nagkaroon tayo ng idle time dito. Kamukha ng mga una, kasi basically, walang dumating ng time 0, kaya we'll be having time 3 na start. So, pinakamaganda rating si P4. So, yan. P4 natin, ang burst time niya is uh, 3. And then, double check natin dito. So, this will be P4. Pagdaan niya dito, so this will be 4. Okay, so bakit naging 4? Again, assigned quantum dito is 1 lang. Kaya pagdaan niya doon, is 1 quantum lang yung nabawas. Now, so bababa yung dito. Ayan, yung si P4. And then, pwede ka na ba i-process si P4? So pwede na. Kasi, wala namang nasa taas pa. Next na darating is time 8. So nag-start tayo ng 4. So doon tayo mag-start. So, we'll be having P4 again. So, 2 quantum yung kailangan. Sakto 2 yung burst time. So, this will be 0 na. Okay? So, mag-end yan ng time 6. Now, at time 6, so basically, uh, another idle time. So, pwede mo ilagay sa taas. Pwede mo ilagay sa baba. No problem. Kasi mamaya i-merge naman natin yung answer. So, ba't ako? So, nangyong kung dito ko nilalagay. So, doon na lang. Okay? So, we have 6. Idle time na naman yan. Okay? Kasi time 8 pa yung next na earliest na darating. So, slash out ko naman itong mga to, to represent na nakadaan na doon sa level. And then, di na siya nakababa dito sa last na level kasi, again, uh, naubos yung burst time. Okay. Now, check natin dito. Okay. So, earliest na darating uli ng time 8. So, that will be P2. Okay. So, burst time na is 4. So, process na natin to kasi siya lang naman. So, 1, quantum, so this will be 3. Okay, so matatapos to time 9. So, at time 9, so walang ibang darating kasi 10 pa. So, bababa na yung P2 dito. Dahil siya pa lang yung process na nandyan, time 10 pa yung kasunod. So, ipaprocess na rin natin siya dito. Okay, so we'll be having P2. And then, 2 quantums, so this will be 1 na lang yung matitira. Okay, mag-start o mag-stop siya ng time 11. So, yung P2 slash out na natin, makababa na siya ng level 3. Now, nung bumaba siya ng level 3, so basically, hindi natin siya pwedeng i-process pa dun sa baba. Why? Kasi at time 10, so in between this, may dumating, ayun si P1. Okay? So, balik na naman tayo uli ng level 1. Okay? Process natin dito, si P1, dito pala. Kasi doon nag-stop, time 11. Ayan. And then, mag end to ng time 12. Okay? So, this will be 4. Then, bababa na dito si P1. Okay, so pwede ka na ba i-process si P1? So, ba so, hindi. Bakit? May dumating na naman ng time 12. So, we'll be having P3. Okay? So, si P3, so process na natin to mag end to ng time 13. Okay, so at time 13, uh, bawasan natin ito ng isa. So, this will be 3. And then, bababa na siya dito. So, pwede na ba mag-process sa level 2? So, pwede na. Kasi yung next na darating is time 15 pa. So, time 13 tayo next stop dito. So, doon tayo mag-start. Una nakababa si P1. So, ipaprocess natin si P1 dito. Okay. So, two quantum so kailangan dito. So, basically, this will be two. 
to na lang. And then this will end at time 15. Okay? So at time 15, yung P1 natin, mga kababa na dito sa level 3. But, hindi pa natin pwedeng i-process yun na sa level 3 kasi may P3 pa tayo dito. And also, dahil nag-stop na ng time 15, yung P5 natin, makakarating na siya. Ayan. So, kung makikita nyo, meron sa level 1, meron sa level 2, meron sa level 3. Kamukha nang sinabi ko, hanggang meron sa pinakamataas na level, so dun muna tayo. Okay. Balik na naman tayo dito sa level 1. Okay. Nag-stop tayo time 15. I-process na natin to. Ayan. So, this will be 4. mag end ng time 16. So, slash out na natin. Baba tayo dito. Okay. So, nag-stop tayo ng time 16. Ayan. Una nakababa si P3. So, i-process natin si P3. Ayan. So, 2 quantum. So, this will be 18. So, stash out natin to Baba ka dito. Okay. So, this will be 1. Next. So, we'll be having P5. Ayan. So, time 20. Okay. So, this will be 2. So, ito si... P5. So, slash out na natin siya dito. Now, next one. So, nakababa na lahat ng process. So, nag-stop tayo dito ng time 20. We have 4 processes na nasa RAM. Okay? So, gagamitin natin ngayon yung inasign natin dito ang algorithm. Which is si shortest job first. Okay? So, we'll be looking for the uh, lowest burst time. Okay? So, dalawa yung maliit yung burst time. So, we have P2. So, ayan. And then, we'll be having P3. So, pareho silang 1. Now, i-break natin yung tie. Earliest arrival time. Mas una nag-arrive si P2 over kay P3. Kaya yun yung unahin natin. So, P2. Ayan. H nag-arrive yung isa at 12. Okay. So, this will be P2. At time 21. Kasi isa na lang yung burst time. So, slash out na natin si P2. Next, syempre, P3 na yon So, this will be time 22. So, slash out na rin natin. Now, dalawa na lang yung natitira. Nating 2 yung burst time. So, ayan. So, tie na naman sila. Earliest arrival again. So, we'll be having P1. Time 24. Kasi dalawa pa yung burst time niya. And then lastly, we have P5. And then, this will end at time 26. So, same again. Kamukha nang ginawa natin kanina. We'll be merging yung answer natin. Okay. So, ayan. So, i-merge i natin sila to fill up yung mga blanks. So, this will be 3. We have P4. We have P4. Another idle time. We have P2. And then P2. P1, P3, P1, P5, P3, P5, P2, P3, P1, and then we have P5. So, check natin yung mga time. You have 4, you have 6, 8, you have 9, you have 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 18, 20, 21, 22, 24, and we have here 26. Okay? So, this will be our final gun chart. Now, dito ko na lang sulat yung utilization. Eh. So, our CPU utilization is ganun pa rin. So, this will be 21. Okay? So, ayan. Over 26. So, times 100. So, this will be 80.77. Okay, 77 yan. Okay, so, next one. So, we'll be computing for the end time, turnaround time, and we have the waiting time. Okay, so, check natin again yung end time, turnaround time, and waiting time. Okay, so, P5, so, we'll be having 26. So, P1, 24. So, P3 is 22. 
So double check nyo yung mga sulat ha? Kasi yan, kamukha ako pangit mag sulat Okay So P4 Ayun, 6 Okay, so end time minus arrival So this will be 14 And then So This will be 10 This will be 3 and then this will be 11. So, ilan ito? Okay, 13. Okay. Now, turn around minus burst time. So, ito sa original again. So, this will be 9. So, this will be 9. This will be 6. 0. And then we have your 6. Okay. Alright, so for the average turnaround time, so yeah, so we'll be having 51 over 5, so this will be 10.20, and then for the average waiting time, so this will be 30 over 5, so this will be 6, okay? So that will be for multi-level feedback queue. So now... Okay, so to clarify things lang, so try natin nga assume na kunyari yung burst time ng P4 natin dito is 10. Okay, so ano mangyayari sa kanya? Pagdaan niya sa unang level, so magiging 9 na lang yung burst time. Pagdaan niya sa second level, magiging 7 na lang yung burst time na makakababa siya dito. Okay, dahil may 7 pa siyang burst time. Now, pagbaba niya dito sa baba, automatically iubusin natin lahat ng burst time niya. Bakit? Kasi nakalagay dito is... SJF. Okay? Ang nature ni SJF is non-preemptive. So, magmamatter pa rin yun dito. Okay? Now, kung i-assume natin na SRTF to, okay? So, kung 10 yung burst time, magiging 9, magiging 7, and then basically, pagdaan niya dito, dahil SRTF yon, okay? So, kailangan niyang mag-stop at time 8, okay? Kung SRTF to, ha? Kailangan niya mag-stop ng time 8 Kailangan niyang putulin kasi preemptive type yung inasay natin dito. Okay? Mag-stop siya ng time 8 para ma-check niya dito or para ma-process niya dito sa taas ngayon yung uh, darating natin na P2. Okay? So, magmamatter pa din yung algorithm dito kung preemptive or non-preemptive dito sa part na to. Okay? Pag nakababa siya, dire-diretsyo ng level 3. Okay? So, kung non-preemptive, ubusin mo lahat ng burst time. Kung preemptive naman, you need to stop once na merong dumating na process. Okay? So, that will be for CPU scheduling algorithm.